Hello YouTube, this is an alcohol review of Lewis and Clark Straight Corn Whiskey. Dun, dun, dun. Spirit of Adventure, 1804, distilled in Connecticut. 45% alcohol by volume, 90 proof. Pushes on the label about going west. Produced and bottled by Oregon. Uh, Hood River. Interesting. Hood River. Hmm. For a short amount of time, uh, Mount Hood was one of my stomping grounds. No more, but it was. When I was a lot smaller. It says here, according to the label, there are few journeys more rewarding than those into the unknown. To the pioneer who follow their sense of discovery and leave no curiosities unchecked, we salute your success. A new West is calling. Answer it with the spirit of adventure. Uh, Chinook Point on November 18, 1805. Intense thunderstorms slowed down the Lewis and Clark journey and they stopped at apparently Chinook Point for a short amount of time, thus should have point on said bottle. So, no cork, turn top. Oh, to spill it all over the place, I tell you. Hmm. We'll do it live, we'll shoot it live. No editing. All right, now that's all over my hand and in my glass. I'm sure that won't disrupt anything. Alright, the color is a very pale yellow. This is a whiskey, straight corn whiskey, which uh, confuses me um, in that I thought straight corn would be a shine rather than a whiskey. Bourbons require uh, X amount of corn, 60% or more, and uh, bourbon uh, barrels, white oak charred, brand new without that turns into whiskey i'm not sure the difference between whiskey and shine but it says here straight corn whiskey so if anybody out there knows a little detail on that i'd be really curious to find out the difference between straight corn whiskey versus moonshine all right but it is a very pale yellow it's a little darker on the screen. But yeah, a very pale yellow. Alright, before we skip to, to the nose, let's go with the eye. What do I see? What do I see? It makes a nice hard line. And eventually it does tear up. But you got to give it a little bit of time. Before that happens. There's a bit of a burn in the nose. There's a sugary. I wouldn't say it smells like shine, but it kind of leans in that direction. But that's about all you really get out of it. A little bit of sweet. A little bit of corn. Kind of fruity-ish. Florally-ish. It's just, it hits you hard the first time, then after that it just dies out. So, I'm really not getting much of anything right now. Excuse me. This is where things get a little odd. There's a sugar to it. Um, a sweetness and a sugar to it. Like a white icing. Let me see. There's a burn. Goes with a bite. A bit of a flush. Um, 
90 proof, so yeah, you do feel it. A bit of a bitter. That sticks to the palate. Oh, that ethanol flavor. That's what it is. It's like sticking to, to the palate. It wants to hold on, giving it a... The, the initial flavor is a bit, bit of a short uh, hang time. That bitter makes it a medium hang time. And then... The residual, if you will, lingers quite a lot longer. But there's a lot more ethanol flavoring. Flavor, not flavoring, flavor, than um, anything else that I'm really getting out of it. So you get like that, that's, it's a sweet ethanol. Now the thing is this, there are some layers in there. Uh, like I said, there's that, that uh, white icing layer that kind of comes in, but you really got to dig for it. There is no real spices in. There's no taste of, of cinnamon or um, stone fruit. Things you would find in a regular bourbon or in some other whiskeys. They're not in this. This is very simple, solid, but simple. Now, the interesting part I found with this is that... When you try it once, do not expect it to taste the same the next day or several days later. It really depends on what you had on your palate um, most recently when you tried to taste it. Because I've had in some moments where it was oddly very tasty and then had dinner and then came back and tried it again and it was just untouchable, just horrific. So it plays with whatever you had on your palate last. I think this would make a great um, mixer. And any kind of like a cola or hell, and, and, and any kind of fruit as well in your uh, cocktail. As a straight sipper, you can tell that it is a good strong leg to a stool, but a stool needs more than one leg. So it isn't bad, but it would benefit better, in my humble opinion, mix in with a cocktail. Try it. See what you guys think. It's Lewis and Clark. Uh, straight corn whiskey. Any comments about the particular product down below, be, as always, warmly accepted. Or better yet, go out, buy it, try it yourself. And do a review on the YouTube Spears community to let us know your opinion about Lewis and Clark straight corn whiskey like I said as a, as a straight sipper it seems to desire some more but as mixed in with a cocktail it just might do very well but let's see what you guys think until next time keep on drinking